Bemidbar Numbers 10. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Make you two trumpets of silver. Of a whole piece shall you make them, that you may use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of at the camps. And when they shall blow them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to you at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are heads of the thousands of Yasharael, shall gather themselves unto you. When ye blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when, uh, rather, but when the at assembly is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. And the sons of Aharan, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever, throughout your generations. And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before Yahuwah Elohechem, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, Ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohechem. And it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month in the second year, that the cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Yasharael took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And they first took their journey according to the commandment of Yahuwah, by the hand of Moshe. In the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Yahuda, according to their armies, and over his host was Nakshan, the son of Aminadav, rather, Aminadav. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Yishakar, was Nethanel, the son of Surar. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Zevelin was Eliav, the son of Chelan. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon, and the sons of Mari, rather Marari, set forward before the tabernacle. And the standard of the camp of Reuven set forward according to their armies. And over his host was Elitzer, the son of Shedeur. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Shimon was Shelemiel, the son of Shere Shaddai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Elakath, the son of Deuel. 
and the Kohathim set forward, bearing the sanctuary. And the other did set up at the tabernacle against they came. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies. And over his host was Elishama, the son of Amihud. And over the hosts of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamliel, the son of Padat Shur. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Binyamin was Avidan, the son of Gidoni. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan set forward, which was the rearward of all the camps throughout their hosts. And over his host was Akhezer, the son of Ami Shaddai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pajiel, the son of Akran. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Akira, the son of Inan. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Yasharael, according to their armies, when they set forward. And Moshe said unto Chovav, the son of Reuel, the Midiani, Moshe's father-in-law, we are journeying unto the place of which Yahuwah said, I will give it you. Come with us, and we will do you good. For Yahuwah has spoken good concerning Yasharael. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray you, for as much as you know how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and you may be to us instead of eyes. And it shall be, if you go with us, yea, it shall be that what goodness Yahuwah shall do unto us, the same will we do unto you. And they departed from the mount of Yahuwah three days' journey. And the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah went before them in the three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of Yahuwah was upon them by day when they went out of the camp. And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moshe said, Rise up, Yahuwah, and let your enemies be scattered, and let them that hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Yahuwah, unto the many thousands of Yashara'el. Chapter 14